Hey, thanks for joining me for our wisdom challenge. Let's jump right into Proverbs chapter 8. And cheeky, this is the title for today. The excellence of wisdom. Oh my gosh, is it ever excellent. Okay, let's jump in. Does not wisdom cry out and understanding lift up her voice? She takes her stand on the top of the high hill, beside the way where the paths meet. She cries out by the gates at the entry of the city, at the entrance of the doors. To you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O oh, you simple ones, understand prudence. I'm going to read that one more time. O oh, you simple ones, understand prudence. And you fools, be of an understanding heart. Listen. For I will speak of excellent things, and from the opening of my lips will come right things. For my mouth will speak truth. Wickedness is an abomination of my lips. All the words of my mouth are with righteousness. Nothing crooked or perverse is in them. They are all plain to him who understands, and right to those who had found, oh, right to them who find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. Remember, King Solomon, he asked for wisdom. And from that wisdom, that is how he operated in every decision that he made in life. So the wisdom can lead to greater value. Let's keep going. We're going to start at 12. We're in chapter 8, verse 12. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance and the evil way and the perverse mouth I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength by me kings reign and rulers decree justice by me princes rule and nobles all the judges of the earth i love those who love me and those who seek me diligently will find me oh if all you ever got out of this was chapter 8 verse 17 it's a win this right here chapter 8 verse 17 all you get is verse 18 or this is the money one right here this is it this is it i love those who love me and those who seek me diligently will find me boom ah that's amazing okay let's keep going we're on 18 riches and honor are with me enduring riches and righteousness my fruit is better than gold, yes, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I traverse the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. Ooh, that's a good word. <laughs> okay, we're on 22, chapter 8, 22. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I have been established from everlasting, from the beginning, before there was ever an earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. Well, as yet, he had not made the earth or the fields. Or the primal dust of the world when he prepared the heavens I was there that's wisdom was there when he drew a circle on the face of the deep when he established the clouds above when he strengthened the fountains of the deep when he assigned to the sea its limit so that the waters would not transgress his command when he marked out the foundation of the earth then I was beside him as a master craftsman and I was daily his delight rejoicing always before him rejoicing in his inhabited world and my delight was with the sons of men that feels good <laughs> let's continue 32 
Now therefore listen to me, my children, for blessed are those who keep my ways, hear instruction, and be wise, and do not disdain it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors, for whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sins against me wrongs his own soul. All those who hate me love death. Wow. That's powerful. What's your favorite part out of that chapter? <laughs> I can think of so many. Let me know in the comments which verse really, really impacted you. I'd love to hear from you. And until then, I will see you tomorrow for the next one. And we'll be reading chapter 10 or chapter 9. I'm Sherilyn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today.